It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion John... The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Just take note, Todd. Check out the... This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, the Olympic gold medalist from Beaufort, South Carolina. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Todd, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here at this venue. It's going to be something special. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared. And here comes the legend Joe Frazier, Hall of Famer, all-time great. Nice hook. Just missed with that hook. This fighter brings a barrage of punches. They won't let you breathe. It's like fighting a hornet's nest. A swarmer, a good swarmer, will come inside you like it, like a bee. Like a bee just pick my thing in you, wherever you leave yourself open. A swarmer is a real kind of fight to fight. Can they figure out the combination to their face? Both of these men showing exceptional chins by the way. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that much above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than that. <laughs> When you're biting a counter puncher, you want to bait them in to throw first. Make them think you're going to throw a punch so that they exchange. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. That hook won't score. A very competitive round. Tyson Fury just got buzzed. His eyes don't look good. Body language is bad. He could go down. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. And breathe. Listen to me. Breathe. Breathe. Come on. Suck it up. Suck it up. Breathe. How many rounds do we spar at the gym? How much work have you put in it? No. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali, his fights against George Foreman, a true legend. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that half down. <laughs> Showing a lot of heart to beat the count there. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagles hurt, your teeth hurt, your body's hurting. You can get up, suck it up, and keep right back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. Tyson Fury just got rocked. Do you believe this? So the referee says he can continue, but how much more does he have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me your ball. Hey! 
Let's talk about Fury. In and there's the bell to start the round. Facing Joe Frazier, who won gold at the 64 Olympic Games. They ring the bell, and here we go. Can't find a home for that jab. And Tyson Fury just got clipped. The big fella might be in big trouble. Takes a step back, recalibrates himself, and goes right after him again. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then just... is in trouble again! How is he on his feet? This doesn't make sense. Bean Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to your... Frazier covering up. He's got nowhere to go. Pretty close fight here in this round. Couldn't wait long to get back and get engaged. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What the you do? Tyson Fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's going to get out of this. I guess showboating is part of... Let's talk about Fury in that way. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Gotta get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything. He's full down because I'm... Smoking Joe may go! No, we don't see a knockdown. Are we about to see the end of an era? Well, they're back up now, but they've got to be cautious. Cannot afford to trade back now, can they, Johnny? The corner needs to be nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight's capable of doing and what their fight can and can't take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Halfway through the round, and I think we all know, it's Frazier in trouble! I thought we were going to see the finish there. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once and not. Is Frazier in trouble? Is this the beginning of the end for this legend? He had his moment, but has it gone by? Can you imagine if he knocks out this legend? Beaten, bruised. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali. His fights against George Foreman. This round was a disaster. What can they do? Oh, Back up on his feet, and now he's ready to engage again. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then boom. Back in the same spot again. 
So time to go celebrate after a knockout win here. A knockout victory? That is... Todd, did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.